shines tonight. She was never so cunning before. We our choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing. Not because so they are easy, but because I they are hard. Three, two, one, zero. All engines running. Lift off. We have a lift off. 32 minutes past the hour. Lift off in a ball of water. Hello, and welcome to Aliens and Moonbeams, a podcast about being foreign in Japan and other places too. You're joining us today in a very special bonus episode that was put together in less than a day. Tomorrow is January 20th, 2017. For a lot of Americans, and for a lot of other people around the world, this is a pretty big deal. For months, we've been at it. Reading, posting, acting, slacting. And now that day, that one on the calendar that's been jumping out at you since November, is here. There's a chance that the people we know and the people that we don't will be very greatly affected come this new transition. Aliens and Moonbeams, I realized, is in a position where it can offer up some interesting perspectives for what's a rather interesting time. We are outside looking in. For Americans living in Japan, this means watching your country carry on without you, even if you did send in that absentee ballot. For the non-Americans I interviewed today, it's puzzling, worrisome, and sometimes even comical. Let's call this episode, The Day Before Trump, in Sendai, Japan. Me? Oh, yes. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) You you record? Yes. I was just surprised. Mm. I'm surprised that, yeah. Why were you surprised? So I suppose uh, Hillary Clinton would win. So just just uh, I surprised. It. Okay. When Donald Trump was elected, I was just really surprised. Yeah, I thought. Yeah, I, I thought you know Hillary had some dirt thrown at her during the election, but I. I didn't realize that was uh, enough to, you know, to to make Donald Trump elected because he was just acting like a little child. Yeah, I was really surprised. I didn't think he would become president at all. No, I, 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 you know, just listening to some of the ideas he had before the election about Mexico and you know Mexicans and and, you know, um, the global warming doesn't exist and things. It was just too far-fetched. So, no, I wasn't expecting that at all. I was very surprised because I thought Hillary would win the election because all media reported Hillary is the popular, more popular than Trump. And then Hillary seemed to be nicer than Trump. So that's why I was very surprised because he is very not nice. He is not nice and he always use he is very he always bad to everyone. He only think making his country great. So I see I don't like him. Sad. I felt sad. I kept checking the. Um, I live in Japan, so I kept checking the results of what was nighttime in America, like the election night there, but it was like midday here. So I kept checking the results. And when I saw him pulling ahead, uh, you know, on the projection or whatever, on what they had counted, I was really surprised. Um, and disheartened, yeah, disheartened and sad. But the whole time I thought, oh, this is, it's a joke, you know? In 2007, like 10 years ago, if you would have seen Trump, like, you know, the guy who's on The Apprentice, like, writing mean tweets is gonna be the president of the United States, you'd have been like, no way, you know? 
So. Oh, 意外な感じがしました。I felt that it was unexpected because I had heard that Clinton had the advantage over Trump. So I was really surprised when he was elected. Scary again. I think many people feel like not so happy compared to like Clinton. Yeah. I didn't think he became a president. My student also very, they, they talked about a lot. So I was also surprised about that.、Mm -hmm. <laughs> What did your students talk about? Like they, did, they said, we don't like Trump, like that. <laughs> I've always been on the side of Hillary Clinton. I was rooting for her. So I was really disappointed when the results came out. I think very highly of Obama. The way he addresses speeches in terms of how he speaks of peace and how to unite all races. I was very happy that he came to Hiroshima to speak. I worry about Trump's discrimination and racism. When he talked about Mexico, for example, building a wall. America coming first. I'm worried what he will do in terms of peace and relationships. I didn't believe it. That's about it. Or, or I believed that it happened because we were in a state where things like that could happen, which is unfortunate.、Um, but it didn't seem real. I have a feeling that in the next 24 hours it's going to feel very real. Like, you know, with、uh, Obama still being in the White House、uh, in the interim,、uh, you know, it hasn't happened yet. Even though he won a few months ago, it still hasn't happened yet. But I'm worried that it's going to happen tomorrow. In November, when the election took place in America, It was around midday in Japan. At the time, I had my phone on me and was able to record a bit of what was going on in the office. My co workers kept coming up to me to talk about Trump. Trump had more. Oh, 97 years old. And I kept telling them the results weren't in yet, that nothing was certain. I asked one of my co workers, Mr. Shikano, what he thought would happen. <coughs> We looked up the results online. New Hampshire. New Hampshire? That's my hometown.、Uh, New Hampshire?、Mm, right now it's red, but, yeah, but it、uh, keeps changing.、Mm -hmm. So, do you have、uh, maybe I can take an interview of you? My? Yes, my? For, for podcast. How, yes, Maji, 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 Maji
podcast. <laughs> All right. How, how do you feel, Mr. Chicano, about this election? Um, if Trump is uh, it's become uh, president, uh, I very worry about that. Yeah, I I'm not sure the future will be. Mm. Mm. Do you understand? I uh, yes, I I very much <laughs> understand. <laughs> Now, fast forward to today. I talked to Mr. Shikano again. This time, I asked him how he felt about the inauguration tomorrow. Um, so I have nothing that I imagine. Mm, I can't imagine for um, American future. Mm. And um, a relationship with um, Japan mm-hmm. and the other world. Then I asked everyone else. Well, I'm I'm interested to see what he has to say because you know it is really I'm really interested in his inauguration because um, I, I don't know what he's going to say. You know, he's a very he's much quite a, a loose cannon which probably isn't the best person to have in charge of America just well, was the most powerful maybe still will be the most powerful country in the world but yeah it's going to be an interesting speech I, I wonder what he's going to say and you know even if he does say things I don't think you know you can really trust him because he's a politician but he, he tends to say what he feels and then backtracks on them quite soon afterwards so be interesting speech. Mm. Mm, I'm sorry for all American people. <laughs> sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. For that. Yeah. Trump, when we see him on TV, he's very. Rude. Rude to. Japan or other countries, so mm-hmm. still his reputation is low, I think. Oh, like I'm outside looking in? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I feel like I'm outside looking in. I don't feel like I know it's like my country, but I've lived in Japan long enough to feel like um, Japan is my home, my, my like adopted home, right? I was born in America, but I chose to live here. I chose to make my like adult life here. Um, so yeah, I feel I feel like I'm an outsider in a way, even though obviously at times I feel like an, an outsider in Japan where I live now. But yeah, I feel, when I look at America it's, and I see that we, it's weird saying we, have elected him to be president, I feel like it's a place I don't recognize, kind of, yeah. Well, even before the the whole Trump incident, as I shall refer to it, um, I've always thought it was interesting to to gain that sort of perspective living outside of America and looking back in, because you can really sort of see it from a whole new light. Um, even some of the things that I used to do when I was there, I look at now, like, you know, why, why would I have been so into that, or why... Why did I fall for that? Um, you know, just having a different point of view provided to you when you live in another country for a certain amount of time. You know, you start to learn their customs and their ways, and it gives you a basis for comparison. So, yeah, I, um, it's been interesting, uh, and I'm thankful to have it because I think if I ever did go back to America, I could benefit possibly from being able to have seen America as this sort of sub this thing that I'm not in at the moment you know but I'm, I still feel responsible for um, so yeah no it's, it's been a good experience and, and with regards to this with, with the whole Trump thing yeah I kind of feel like having stepped out of it I can understand how it got to this point I didn't know that tomorrow was inauguration day Trump 
I wonder if Trump will express himself politely at the ceremony. Since the beginning of the election, he's been using offensive racist language. My last question for everyone today was, what kind of advice would you give young people or discouraged people in light of recent events? Oh, I'd say um, for young people who want to know what to do next about this is probably build a fallout shelter in their backyards (laughs) and stock up. (laughs) Uh, Or, yeah, I don't know, just, you know, because the thing about America is, which I didn't realise, is that the, uh, what is it, the electors? Oh, electoral college. Yeah, the electoral college. Um is a really weird way of voting and you know he got less votes than Hillary Clinton but he still won so yeah you know and and people are sort of really surprised about that so yeah you really need to take politics more seriously I think his election affected the world I think the world's like amazed you know like if if we got some first contact from an alien race or something, everyone would be sort of dazed and walking around. And, um, you know, sometimes I do lessons here, and and even young children, they know who he is and they know about him in sort of like a a bogeyman sort of way, you know. They they don't really know much about him, but they they know about him. It's like the last month it's been Donald Trump and Pen Pineapple Pen. There have been two things which uh, Japan's obsessed about, so... Yeah, I think, I don't know, I think the whole world is sort of mildly reeling from the fact that he was elected, and no one really knows what's going to happen in the future. Yeah. I think that young people probably think that they don't care who is elected. I think that they believe they cannot change politics. But I don't think that's right. I want them to believe that they can. I think there is hope. Like, so, right, this bad thing, in my opinion, a bad thing happened. This man is now president. But in order to create change, like, bad thing, when something really bad, like, is this the breaking point? Something this terrible has happened we could change it, you know, from here. Of course, there's always hope and there's always change. Um, In Japan, I feel a little obviously disconnected from the outside looking in. If I was in America, I feel like it would be a lot more, um, it would be a lot easier to become politically active uh, in order to be the force in which that change is made. Um, but yeah, now that you mentioned that, I, I mean, it would be cool to be able to look into something that as an expat in Japan, as an American expat in Japan, you could, you know, have an impact on potential change in the United States. Mr. Chief Justice. I want them to be able to have their own strong opinions and ideas. A strong will to make a change going forward. If they are not satisfied with the results, not satisfied with these moments. Study hard. And study hard and analyze the fact that and then see through your eyes. That's all. That's perfect. <laughs> if you say there is no hope, there is sadness. At the end of the day, it's important that as many people as possible make and give their opinions to build and create a peaceful world together. A world where people think of each other, not only of themselves. Thinking of everyone makes the world a better place. They should become aware of what's happening in the world. Read a newspaper, watch TV, and develop their own opinions and thoughts. 
Get involved, whether it's in Japan or elsewhere. From now, the Trump administration will become official, giving it more power. I think it would give Japan both good and bad influences. But I hope that young people in Japan will try to maintain their relationship with America, especially in cooperation with other Asian countries. Don't make the same mistake Uncle Nate did and make sure that you register to vote um, because it's important. Every single one counts. Unless there's an electoral college, but that's a whole different thing. <laughs> Check Google for that. But yeah, go out there and make a difference. Vote if you can uh, and, and have your voice heard. <laughs> did you have something you wanted to add? I just wanted to say that the other day I got into a taxi and I don't speak awesome Japanese, but I speak enough to get myself home in a taxi. And the taxi driver asked me where I was from. And earlier in the night, I had made a joke about how I was going to tell people I was from Canada now, that Trump's elected. Yeah. And I decided I would just tell the taxi driver the truth, that I'm from America. And the taxi driver said to me, oh... America, Tahena, like yeah. Trump son, like which means like, oh, America's like having a difficult time because of Donald Trump. And I was just like, Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and this is a person I don't even know that just heard I was American and the first thing he said was like, Oh geez. Like <laughs> Yeah, he was like apologizing for yeah, like I'm so sorry for your loss. <laughs> Yeah. Of, yeah. I wish it would have been like, yeah, exactly. So sorry, that's all I want to yeah, say. Yeah, no, awesome. <laughs> yeah, so we are on the eve of the 20th. How do you feel? How do I feel? I, I don't know, it makes me cringe. I feel cringy. Short answer, I feel cringy. Mm. Yeah. yeah. The world cringes with you. <laughs> That'll be it. Like, that's the, the, the day end. he's inaugurated. <laughs> when he's ignored. When he's... When he is inaugurated, inaugurated, it, that's what it is now. That's what that's what we're gonna say. Yeah. How do you say it? I said I think I said the same way. Inaugura- inaugurated. 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 Yeah. When he's inaugurated, we will all cringe together. Let us cringe. Let us cringe. <laughs> and that is the end of the podcast. <laughs>